Hello Leo. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. This is a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Leo or cross watcher out there. All right. I am using the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Keep in mind, time is fluid, so some of you may have experienced this already. Some of you may be going through this right now, and the rest of you may experience this in the far future. a lot of lust in this connection. There's a lot of chemistry. Oh boy, oh boy. Leo. Quite interesting. We have a situation here where someone has really, really taken advantage of you. They're feeling it. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. Here we have mothering. Crisis, nourishment, sexuality, sensuality, order, justice, beliefs, followed by a victim under the bottom of the deck. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Leo, I see now a certain kind of quality that I didn't see before. I see you as being someone who is very nurturing, caring and protecting. A person that always wants to provide a place of peace and home. This unconditional love that you have given to me, I feel it. There's no reason for you to do this, but I just feel it. And for that reason, I'm feeling very overwhelmed now. After all I did to you, I am quite overwhelmed. The feelings are so intense inside of me that I find it hard to put into words and to articulate. Here, my feelings require sorting out because my feelings are all over the place right now. I am very overwhelmed with what I have learned in recent times. I do feel that you are this person who has the ability to provide me with emotional, spiritual, and physical fulfillment. But it does seem 
that all that has happened between us, you still don't change. Your love still remains constant. Just as one of the brightest stars in the sky would be, remaining there through rain, through thunder, on sunny days, but at night, it turns out you never left. You were always there for me. I don't deny I have almost an obsession, almost an addiction to you, to your body. You are very beautiful. You are very handsome. You're damn gorgeous. You are so sexy. Hot as hell. I can't stop thinking about your body. I want to be with you. I want to touch you. The way things were before. And because I feel the sense of obsession, all I feel is that it's growing. It's hard for me not to think about you. You are so sensual. Certain things that you do and say, the way you walk, you are so graceful. You are this person that is so alluring, enchanting, and it's hard to not think about you. Right now I do have this situation where I am at a crossroads. I know that I have to take a path, but I am surrounded by gray, thick clouds, and so I cannot see the right path to take. I can't even see a path at all. There's so much fog. And for this reason, I don't choose out of instinct any path because I am afraid I might make the right, wrong choice. I might make a mistake. I want to bring more justice into this connection. I want to have a better balance. You deserve a better balance. I feel that in this connection, there used to be a lack, a lack of equal give and take. I was always taking, and you were always giving. And for this reason, it's important that we change things now, because it's not fair. I understand that you and I don't really see eye to eye. Our beliefs, our ideas are quite different, very different. There are certain opinions that I have, certain beliefs that I have that don't match up to yours. We think quite differently. You think of this connection as love, and passion and emotion. I think of this connection only as a lustful connection because that is what we had started off as. I thought we were both on the same page. I had no idea that you would start to feel this way. I thought you were like me. I can compartmentalize my love, my lust, my feelings. I can compartmentalize all this, but it appears you can't. And for this reason now, I feel as though I have victimized you. You have become the victim of my desires, only my desires. I have overindulged, I have taken you for granted. I have emotionally and sexually manipulated you. I've used you, I've used your body. To some degree, now I know and I feel that I'm responsible. 
How could I have done this to somebody that cares for me so much? We are not of the same mindset, and this is a problem. All right, Leo. Very interesting. This is something that I see often. And it appears that when you both started off, the idea may have been for some of you, like um, an on-off hookup, maybe this was just casual. But then it might have become a bit more than that. Some of you may have thought you are a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whereas the other person never really admitted that. They never really said it. They stay very quiet. Why is that? It's because they were not on the same page as you. You thought that life was romantic. You had emotions. This person did not have that. And this is why it's causing a problem because now they're feeling as though they're the one responsible. They're the bad person here. They feel unworthy of someone like you because of the type of situation they've put you in. They don't want to be in an, indiv in an individual's life. Like every person that gets into a relationship, nobody really wants to get into the relationship to hurt someone. Everybody wants something out of it. The problem here is that in your connection, somebody here fell in love and the other person did not. And now the person that is not in love is feeling a little bit of guilt and feelings of, oh my goodness, what have I done? I'm using this individual sexually. I can't do that because this person is so sweet. They love me. This is what this individual is feeling, Leo. Of course, only a few of you will resonate with that. It's not going to be for everybody. Look at that. My goodness, we love lovers. Here we have love. Now, keep in mind, I read the reversals for these cards. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. We have love and then we have the Ace of Staves. All right. There is a realization now in this connection that there is no love, that there is a lack of harmony, there's a lack of passion, and now there's also a lack of sensuality. This individual now, exactly what I said, is feeling unworthy of love. Wow. Manipulating others with sexuality. What did I tell you? Immaturity and irresponsibility in terms of love relationships. And game playing. So it's exactly, Leo, as I had started right in the beginning of the reading, where this person has manipulated you sexually. It talks about manipulating others with sexuality. So for... The feminine characteristics of a human being, the feminine side, we may feel that this physical intimacy is also equal to love. That is not what this person was feeling. Here, this person now is feeling unworthy of love. I'm not good enough. I'm not worth this because I've manipulated my Leo so badly just with their body. It's wrong. I don't deserve their love. I'm a dirty person. They are clean. I'm dirty. We can't mix. Here we have this person also feels that they are immature and they realize that they are irresponsible when it comes to love relationships because they are a player. This person has realized this, Leo. Ace of Stabs.
there's a lack of energy, a lack of wanting to grow, a lack of taking any action. Here, we have difficulty starting a new venture. Difficulty starting a new venture in terms of love and relationships. There is a lack of focus and there is a need to start focusing on putting in some energy, trying to grow the connection, trying to take some action. Here, this also represents the masculine aspect of life. So there you have it. Person's a player, they're immature, they don't know what's going on and what they are feeling now is that, oh crap, I ended up using and misusing Leo. And thank goodness this person has a shred of humanity in them where they are feeling unworthy of treating you like this. But this is where the problem lies. You both thought that you were in this connection as players. They thought you were a player. And now it turns out you're not. You got the lovers again here. So this person may be two-timing. This person may also have other options. They're not just with you, but they're with others too. This is why they're a player, you see. They're collecting the name badges of all the people that they've played with. All the hearts that they've broken. But they don't deliberately go out and break people's hearts. This person only gets with people that they think are like-minded. And if the other individual falls in love with them, that's not this person's fault. Usually people don't say that I love you. There's masculine energies that don't say that. But we as feminine, we believe it because we feel it. Sometimes, not all the time, that feeling is false. That's what this person's feeling now. They're just feeling unworthy that what they did is not right. They don't want to continue with this. But they do want to continue with you. They see heaven in your eyes. They see truth. My God, beautiful. Oh my God. This is a beautiful reading, guys. So, like, you've changed this person. You've changed the, well, the way this person feels and thinks about relationships. So you remember where this person was immature, irresponsible. They're no longer going to be like that. They're going to change. Very nice. Here we have the lover's card. They are trying to make a choice between options that they have justice. They want to make a better balance as before. There was a lack of balance and they want to restore the balance and have an equal give and take in this connection. The Nine of Cups, they have officially realized that you are their wish come true. I couldn't wish for anyone better. My Leo is wonderful. They're all that I want. I'm happy with them physically and they're willing to give me their heart. What more do I want? That's what this person is now feeling. Eventually, Leo, this person is going to reach out to you. Six of Wands. If you have had someone who has ghosted you or has left you for quite some time, this person is going to come back around. These are too many cards that are good. These are dark, like these are amazing cards. Very beautiful, very nice cards. This person wants to come back to you victorious. They want to win your heart over. Of course, this person's not a king. They're not even a knight. They are a page. They're going to be very sheepish, very shy when they reach out to you. But they want to send you a passionate message. If some of you can tolerate this, go ahead. If some of you still think they are a player, then definitely move on from this person. Just going to do a quick prayer. All right. I'm 
So look for a sign. This could be signs and synchronicities. If you've truly been heartbroken, you will be seeing that the universe is going to align many things for you and you'll be seeing signs and synchronicities, numbers, repetitive messages, sometimes colors, shapes. Here we have, look for a sign in the near future. Now this sign could also be this person directly messaging you. That is a sign as well. But hey, do you want to meet up? Be assertive. Here it says be assertive. So being assertive means that it's important for you to express yourself in a way where you let them know what you're comfortable with and what you are not comfortable with. We also have here trust in God. This is the Christ consciousness. This is you sitting, that's Christ, and behind Christ is his Father, the holy light of the Almighty Father. That is Jehovah. He has many other names in the Abrahamic religion. But that is the holy light of God the Father and trust in the Father. Trust in God that this connection will work. And through God, you can also call upon Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to ask them to help you, to support you, to guide you in this connection. And they will. But it happens through, through their bosses who are, that is God. We have Jesus, we have his Father, and it's through them that the angels come through. That is when they listen the most. We also have here wait. So, Leo. This person is feeling unworthy. Remember that right now. So they're going to need that time to reflect on what has happened. How can I fix the situation? They have to heal. A lot has to happen. And therefore, the only way things will progress is if this person gets a chance to think about what they've done. This is why you have the card called wait. So simply wait regarding the situation. Here it also talks about take action. Now in the near future, you are going to get a chance to talk to this person. So do take action. Here, the angels are saying, don't stop giving and receiving love. Keep that good vibration going. Here we also have, you are ready. You are ready for whatever is going to be coming into your life in the far future. You have been through a lot, Leo. And you are ready to accept what it is that is in your life. What it is that is coming. All right. That is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance on your situations. Do let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer as much as I can. If I can't, please forgive me. I do encourage you all to chat amongst each other. Um, support one another. That's also why I keep the comments open. All right, guys, you all take care, stay safe, and I do hope to see you guys again. Bye now.